It is an act boat owners will do thousands of times this summer. That is start up a generator. But last night at Lake Hartwell, this happened. The images that we saw from Portman Marina were unbelievable. 24 hours later, the man who tried to start that generator is in surgery. He has second degree burns and more than a dozen boats are sunk or they are ruined as a result. 11 Alive's Christy Etheridge rode with the DNR today for an exclusive look at the efforts to contain the damage. We're getting an exclusive up close and personal look at the damage at the marina from a DNR boat. These white hazmat barriers are meant to keep debris like that and the gas from floating out into the lake. Because there were some pretty big pieces of, you know, boats and other debris from the dock and things like that. As we glide down the left side of dock six, some of the damage is obvious. The charred roof, the collapsing dock and everything else that's warped and misshapen. Yeah, they'll tear it down and replace it. But most of the worst damage is just out of sight. You can see a boat right there. That's the top of a boat that sunk right there. It just went straight down. That's the, top, that's the front of the boat. At least 11 empty slips after a raging fire caused by a generator spread up and down the dock. This is what it looked like around noon yesterday. I guess the most safety thing was just trying to keep it, you know, from spreading and DNR Sergeant Hunter Mize was out here in his boat after hearing the fire chief call for extra help. I need all available personnel. I got two boats floating away. Correction, three boats floating away. He called for any help that he could get. I need all available personnel to bring an air pack with them. It took two hours to get it under control. Today, an oil sheen covers the water and the charred bits that were too light to sink gather around the hazmat berm leaving only clues about the handful of boats that are now under the water instead of on top of it. You'd never know it now, but underneath this water are at least two boats that floated out here and sank. And this is about 150 yards from the dock that burned. On Lake Hartwell, Christy Etheridge, 11 Alive News.